me, uh, George Rowe, I'm very supportive of all of this professional development. I have so many things that he's trying to do uh, since he's been here since April. I wanted to welcome the guests, the OE and UG, as well as all the students and everybody. Thank you, Vishal. Thank you, everybody. I'd like to thank everyone for coming on this uh, not ideal day. Uh, if we didn't have all the smoke, you would see a beautiful view of the bay from these windows. But that's uh, that's how it goes sometimes in California. But I would like to officially welcome all of you here, particularly our guests from Oracle, on behalf of Cal State East Bay and the College of Business and Economics, to this great event, this great learning opportunity for all of you, many of your students. I went around and just quickly said hello to most of you. And it, it looks like you're here ready to listen, ready to learn, ready to take notes, ready to benefit from this um, really great group of visitors. So I would also like to thank those from Oracle and specifically the Oracle Applications Users Group, right? Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. And they're here from all over the country, not just from the Bay Area, but I, I, I met a couple who were here from Boston, one was from Maryland. And, so all over, they're coming from all over to help you to learn more about what they do, and I think you'll find it to be very useful. I would also like to point out that this has taken a lot of work and recognize the efforts of the um, MSBA analytics uh, organization, the student organization that has put a lot of time and effort into this, um, the management department and department chair, uh, Vish uh, Hedgy, who has been really instrumental in this, and Zenobi, where is Zenobi? Um, I, don't, I don't know if I can say his last name correctly, so I just call him Zenobi, but he is uh, <laughs> he's a big part. Dr. Z sounds good to me. And it's really good to see him. He's been doing a sabbatical this semester, so it's good to see him back on campus. And he was a big uh, reason why this event has occurred. So thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you for being here. I hope you learn as much as you can. This is a great opportunity for you to pick up some great advice from a company that has many, many years of experience in the technology uh, world. And so with that, enjoy the day, and thank you for coming. Thank you, uh, Dean Lowe. And uh, just to briefly, I want to, on behalf of the Department of Management, uh, welcome all of you, and especially Oracle Applications Group, all the people coming from all the way from Boston to the area, and, and all the uh, students from MSB as well as the Business uh, Analytics Club. The students put together a lot of effort in there. Uh, and I want to welcome you all. And I want to mention a couple of uh, quick facts and the management department, we have been very active uh, in terms of collaborating with the technology industry and incorporating the technology into our You know, a long history. Before I joined, Dr. Z is instrumental for now working with Oracle corporations and the Oracle corporations uh, gave us the Oracle ERP suite and database and it was incorporated into our operation supply chain management curriculum. Later, we launched information technology management in the department. Again, lately, Master of Science and Business Analytics. We are one of the very early campus on in the Bay Area to launch MS you know, program in business analytics. We completed third year, this is the fourth year. So we are more than uh, probably I lost count of how many exam students, probably 170 plus students uh, right now in our program. So, so um, and uh, we are very uh, glad to um, um, claim that we, we have been like successfully in reading the technology in our program. And also I want to definitely um, thank your the Oracle folks who put together an excellent program in a matter of what, two months? Yeah, very quickly. Very, very quickly. And with that, uh, without taking much time, I want to really hand over the mic. I know that we are two minutes late, so let's uh, keep going. And let's have a great day and uh, great 
information and discussions. I wish uh, all of you a great day and a good discussion. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, my name is James Hobbs and I would like to uh, also thank you all for being here. And I'd really like to very formally thank my colleague from Oracle Academy, Tara Crockett, who was instrumental in introducing OAUG into the university here, and to uh, Dr. Z, who has been absolutely phenomenal to work with. So uh, as, a, as an event planner, you have made my life very, very easy, and that is what I like. And there are a lot of great volunteers here this morning. Um, my job with the Oracle Applications News Group is their marketing and events director. So I have a very different role where many of you are really going into the heavy technology side of things. Um, I'm also an ex Oracle employee. I started many, many years ago, and it was through the advice of my oldest brother, who is kind of a genius engineer guy at Oracle DBA, who I was uh, no, kind of lost with my art history degree after college and looking for things to do. He said, you know, uh, over at Oracle in the Dallas office, they need a tent to clean up closets and make copy for their students. And I was like, I can use some extra money, so I think I'm going to do that. And I remember the night before I started that job, I was sick to my stomach thinking I could never go work for the man because I was an artist and had several other jobs I was doing. And, and fortunately, I got through that, and here I am almost 25 years later, having been able to really forge forward with an amazing career in Oracle as an Oracle professional working in a different capacity. But what that what I would like to illustrate for all of you is you might not always know exactly what you're going to do once you do leave the university, but this is an atmosphere and an ecosystem that really allows you to do just about anything you want. So as a non-technologist, the fact that I've been able to make a career and work with such outstanding professionals as everyone here at this table um, has really left me a very fortunate man. So um, I was able to, I've been in sales for a while and then I found marketing and uh, starting to do events. So I've been blessed when I was at Oracle, I was able to run a developers conference all around the world for a couple of years. Uh, for those of you who might be familiar with Oracle Open World, which just took place, I was part of the Oracle Open World planning team. And um, from there, I also then discovered the world of user groups. Actually, my first event that I ran was for the OEG. So um, I've been very blessed with uh, 12 years at Oracle and now 13 years with OAUG. And, and Doug, that you'll hear a little bit from, is my, uh, one of my bosses. He sits on the board of directors. Um, and we've been able to do a lot of great things. Uh, the reason that we're here today is to really help you all understand the kinds of resources that you will have access to after you graduate and you do get into the Oracle field. Um, there's a lot more out there besides just the internet to glean information from. Uh, you will be able to make friends and partners and lifelong uh, resources through your Oracle contacts that you have, as well as through all the friends and colleagues and the companies that you're in. Um, OEG is really a place where uh, you can come and expand your breadth of contacts uh, throughout the entire world, quite frankly. Um, user groups are a very, very important aspect to the success of every company and their and their employees with their implementations of Oracle installs. Uh, because that's who you're going to be going to to help make sure the thing that you're doing is right, it's the most efficient, it's the most cost effective, and that you're really using the tools that your company has invested in to maximize their output. So uh, with that being said, I would like to go ahead and hand the table over now to my very esteemed table colleagues here and let them tell you a little about, about what the, they do and how they got to be where they are. Liz? Thanks, James. Good morning, everyone. It's very nice to be here. I'm that Boston girl that everyone keeps referring to. I had a little bit of a marathon travel day yesterday, but it's happy to do it. I started my day yesterday at a New England Oracle Applications User Group, which takes place at Gillette Stadium. It gathers about 400 attendees, and those attendees are uh, people like ourselves here at the table, sponsorship from OAUG, users like Doug, partners like Mohan and myself, Oracle is a huge sponsor of that event. So it is a huge community and it was an exciting way to start my day and then getting into Logan and getting into LA and San Jose and Ubering to um, Mission Boulevard. It was very exciting yesterday. So um, I'm happy to be here. I wanted to just take one moment and show you guys uh, in living color here, if you will, just a little bit of how we're all connected. 
It's burning to my eyeballs when you stand right here. <laughs> uh, so as James was saying, we have our relationships that we are all connected and how we are connected. Uh, if you start up here at the top, you see that Oracle is, let's call it the mothership, right? We have Oracle. <laughs> we like that. <laughs> and then Oracle has so many different subject areas, as James was referring to. There are the technologists at Oracle. There are the sales leaders at Oracle. There are someone that's very important to me, the channels and alliances at Oracle who help my company which is a partner of Oracle doing implementation work. So just wanted to take a quick moment and draw this out for you. Oracle is Oracle, we all know that. Oracle Academy is very instrumental in the university realm, helping the universities to adopt and use and teach Oracle technology. Then we have the customer base. Doug here, even though he's instrumental as an OAUG board member, he's a, a director at the Johns Hopkins University. He'll tell you a little bit more about his bio, but he's a, a user and consumer of Oracle applications and technology. Then you move down through here, the OAUG community itself. Most co companies that are using Oracle to run their business day to day are invested in OAUG, as James mentioned, that network of support of resources to make sure that they get a healthy return on investment and their users have an outlet in their day-to-day -day use of technology. And then um, Mohan and I are part of the Oracle Partner Network. So we're the, I would like to say, boots on the ground doing implementation work. If a company needs a new financial system or inventory, manufacturing, distribution, whatever it is that makes their company tick, there's a network of partners categorized essentially by their expertise and we're, we go in and help the implementation work happen. Oracle has those resources as well, Oracle Consulting Services. Um, so there's a lot of um, cooperation and competition in, in our world, and that's really an exciting dynamic of, of what we all do. So I just thought this would be a healthy visual to get everyone started with to see how we all connect. So that's that part. Thank you. Glad to be here. Hi everyone, uh, my name's <clears throat> Doug Manning and um, I work on the Johns Hopkins University of Life Physics Lab. Um, as was mentioned, we have been using <coughs> Oracle products for a very long time, since 1994. So we've gone through the whole Oracle product journey for decades. Um, I didn't know what, how, what, what to expect this morning, but when I saw that Dr. Z and Bish gave us whiskey flasks. <laughs> I kind of thought I was in the right place. Thank you for that. Um, so one of my other uh, positions, along with using Oracle products, is I'm the uh, current president of Life for the Oracle Applications Users Group. That is an uh, organization that's dedicated to helping users get the maximum benefit out of their Oracle product usage. It's been around since the 80s, uh, and we've been doing great work in helping folks, uh, like organizations like myself and others, to uh, use Oracle products effectively. It's more of a um, customer to uh, customer uh, type of organization where you actually are really learning from other customers that use the products day in and day out. Um, so I'm very excited to be um, to have the opportunity to lead that organization uh, next year. And, um, that's it. Um, can, you, uh, can you just tell me quickly about your position there um, at Johns Hopkins and, and also as a hiring manager? <coughs> when you, you know, those are some important details that are, should also be very important to all of you. Yeah. Here. So um, currently at, at Hopkins, I'm um, a project manager and I'm also a service manager. And what that means is um, I have people that work for me that actually develop uh, work the code, um, they support the local systems at the university, um, and um, we've been doing that again for decades. Um, also, <coughs> I'm a hiring manager as well, so I'm very uh, clued in in terms of the people that we're looking for to hire. Um, uh, we're performing development work in this um, arena, and I've been doing that for many, many years, and we currently have two positions open right now, so we're <laughs> We're looking for people to um, actually help um, our organization even expand its uh, development work. Anything else? Thank you. 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 Thank
this is important for all of you to know about him. He is going to be doing a presentation after this that is really going to help enlighten you to some uh, interviewing skills, things that the man in his position are looking for uh, that uh, can very well be very beneficial to you. Thank you, good morning. My name is Mohan Nagar. I did not travel too far. I actually did just out to the East Bay and I had a short drive this morning. Um, like Dr. Z and the Dean said, if it was better and cleaner, we would actually be able to see the Bay. Um, my role in this whole um, user group has been as a consultant. I've been a consultant all my life. I was for a very short while a user, uh, but I've been consulting with Oracle applications and Oracle in general for the past 25 years. Uh, just Oracle. Uh, I also do a lot of work with business process engineering data analytics. And uh, because I've been working with Oracle for a long time, that's always behind uh, and along with me. But more than happy to share the knowledge and uh, looking forward to having a nice discussion with all of you. Thank you very much. I'm so JP, I mean, uh, my mom told me she 